Tremite. Today I've made a long four hour drive up from South Wales to Snowdonia National Park, which is the oldest and the largest of the three national parks here in Wales. Now this evening I'm heading for a hike in a wild camp up Moyle Shabod. Now this solitary mountain is located in the northwest of the national park and although it isn't the highest, the views from its 872 meter peak are meant to be absolutely majestical. I've parked in Bringlow car park, which is just off the side of the A5 in the village of Pont Coving. It's an absolutely gorgeous spring evening here with barely a cloud in the sky. So hopefully I'll be treated to an incredible sunset and those views I just talked about will live up to expectation. Right, I'm going to grab my gear and get cracking. So the route I've taken up from Pond Coving is around four kilometers in length and involves just under 700 meters of elevation gain. So it's quite a lot of elevation gain in a short period of time. The route is rather steep. However, it is quite easy to follow. The initial section of the walk is on road, then it goes onto a gravel path, and then you get onto some grassy section, which are rather boggy. So a decent pair of footwear is required. However, look at these views. You've got the Snowden Massif. You've got the Glitterai with Trivan behind it and the Carnair die. Absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous day. I'm about just over two thirds of the way up. Uh, just over an hour, probably about half an hour left. Get up there with plenty of time. Hopefully have an insane sunset. But I can't get over these views. Onwards we push. Made it to the summit of Mol Shabad. Trick points behind me. It took me just over an hour and a half, and that was plenty of faffing with the camera. Oh my god, they weren't lying about the views. Absolutely stunning 360 degree views. Look at this. Absolutely bonkers. So apparently you can see 13 of the 14 Welsh 3000, so the highest peaks in Wales from here, without turning your head. Just just mental. Like I said, you got snow down, you got the glitter eye, and you got the can air die. And back that way, you've got Cader Idris. Now Morshabod means bare hill in Welsh, and you can it's pretty bare, it's a bit like a plucked chicken. It's just lots of barren stones. And it's the highest mountain in the Molwinian range, which is the White Hill. Unbelievable views. I'm gonna find a place to pitch my tent before sticking the drone up and setting it down for sunset. <sighs> Tents all pitched up, just off the summit, behind me. So I just set behind Snowden. So I'm gonna stick the drone up and start snapping away. Sun's just set. I uh, got the drone up briefly, but the rescue chopper was out, so I had to bring it down. So I'm not sure how the footage will look, but we will see. Um, look at this view from the tent, though. Looking directly towards Snowdon. It just doesn't get better than this. Um, I actually realised this is my first ever wild camp in Snowdonia. Well, the proper one. Uh, I slept in a bivvy bag in a slate mine in Cumpermancho. But that was horrific and I try to forget about that. I don't like to bring it back up, I get PTSD. But yeah, first, uh, first real wild camp in Snowdonia. 
what a cracker it's been so far. I have some food set up and then uh, settle down and full moon should be rising soon so capture some shots of that and then uh, hopefully get some Milky Way shots later on but what a dream so far. What a life. <sighs> and a Corona. Many hours later. Sun's just rising, Snowden's under first light. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, terrible night's sleep. Uh, wind was a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be and absolutely battered my tent. Um, a lot of flapping, a lot of noise, lost an earplug. Not a great night's sleep, but gonna take in the sunrise, zip the drone up before heading down and create a loop, so. I've come a different route down. I'm passing through the slate quarries and uh, check these out. These are old slate buildings, but the roofs are still on and the view Not a bad view, eh? Right, I'm going to head on back to the car. Uh, so back at the van after my wild camp. Um, how would I sum that up? Mixed bag. Um, views are absolutely insane. Sunset, incredible. Sunrise, just as good. However, I had a shocker all around. Um, Lost one of my microphones for my Rode Wireless Go. That knocked me back half an hour. SD card corrupted on the way up, so I lost a load of footage. Um, then <laughs> GoPro then turned off because of the cold. Uh, the wind meant I couldn't fly my drone very much, and it also meant I had a terrible night's sleep. But the views made up for it. Uh, yeah, incredible. Uh, also a fantastic hike. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, not that difficult. There is a bit of scrambling on the way down. I did a loop, um, but thoroughly recommend it. Really varied, especially when you pass through the slate quarries at the end. Yeah, but the view is absolutely incredible. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe and all that, and deal from Val. Thank you.